What's going on, everybody? This your man, Lucky. I'm back with another one, man. Y'all know how I do. Listen, guys, I want to talk to you about two different mindsets, okay? I want to compare two different mindsets. I want to compare scarcity mindset to the abundant mindset. Now, you might hear these terms thrown out there a lot, but I kind of want to give a breakdown, in my opinion, of these two different mindsets, right? So the first mindset that I'm going to address is the scarcity mindset. I believe most people operate in a scarcity mindset, okay? I myself have operated in a scarcity mindset. There's this, I guess there's still a part of me sometimes that still kind of moves in a, in a scarcity mindset, right? And um, this is really not, that's in my opinion, it's not really a productive mindset to be in, okay? The reason well, I got several reasons why, but I'm going to just get into the, the scarcity mindset, right? So the scarcity mindset is a mindset in which you don't believe that you can do better. You don't believe that there are more resources out there. I, I'll say that. You don't believe that there are more resources. You pretty much believe that your situation, your current situation is the best situation. And that's just what it is, right? You had a job. The job doesn't treat you well. The job doesn't pay you well. The job has horrible hours, but you still stay at that job. Why? You have a scarcity mindset. You don't believe that, hey, I can really get out here, leave this job and go get another job. It's like it's like it's like fear. It's, it's fear of loss. It's like a fear of loss. You're scared to lose what you have because you don't think that you can get better. You understand what I'm saying? It's a fear of loss because you don't think that you can get better. OK. So you're scared to leave that job because you don't think you can get a better job. You're in a relationship. That relationship is not working out, but you stay in that relationship. Why? I mean, if the relationship is not working out, maybe because it's the woman that you with, you know, you hey, man, she's she's really good looking, you know, or, or she just she has a really nice body or whatever the case may be. That's keeping you in a bad relationship. That's a scarcity mindset. That's an example of a scarcity mindset because you don't believe that you can get a better woman than her. So what you do is you stay in that bad relationship simply because you don't think you can do better in regards to the woman that you're with you know again scarcity mindset guys um and i can go on and on with you know just different examples you know you want to try out for the basketball team or you want to try out for the football team and you don't think you know hey the other guys they may be bigger than you or faster than you stronger than you whatever the case may be and so you're scared to try out you know what i'm saying scarcity mindset you know what i mean you you it's, it's a fear it's pretty much a fear you understand what I'm saying? Um, a fear, a fear of loss or like a fear of rejection as well. Just fear. You know what I mean? If I could sum it up and in, in, if I could sum it up in one word, man, it's a mindset of fear. Real simple and plain, just straight to the point. You understand what I'm saying? In my opinion, just this is not really a good mindset because it's that mindset. This mindset is going to keep you kind of in a box. You you never really strive to do better because of the fear that you have that you might not be able to do better you have a fear of rejection or oh, i might try this and it doesn't work out or you know i might leave this situation for a better situation and and you know i don't get that that better situation and so this is all that i have it's just not good it's not a good mindset guys it keeps you it keeps you back it keeps you in a box and it, it keeps you from being great you understand what i'm saying i believe that this mindset is based on um, just a lack of confidence. I think a lot of people who uh, have a, a scarcity mindset have a lack of confidence. They don't believe in themselves. They don't believe that they can do better. Sometimes they don't believe that they deserve better. You understand what I'm saying? They just don't know. So scarcity mindset, guys. Now I'm going to talk about abundance mindset. So abundance mindset is where pretty much you understand that there are unlimited resources. You understand that, hey, you, hey, I can always do better. That's what the abundance mindset is. There's always more out there, okay? There's always more. I can always do better. I deserve greatness, okay? When you have an abundant mindset, you're confident. You understand what I'm saying? Again, same example. You you work in a job and that job is not treating you right, man. You get up and go. That's it. In, in the story, you get up and go, man. I'll find me a better job. That's it. You have an abundant mindset because you know Hey, listen, you got the level of confidence where you know you can go out there and get a better job. Or even if at that point, a better job is just a different job, at least got better hours, better pay, or, you know, whatever the case may be. But you're not scared to make that move. You don't, you don't have a fear of losing 
what you already have because you're not confident confident enough to get what it is that you want guys so you know that's like a abundance mindset man just having um just having that high level of confidence man knowing that you deserve what you deserve you know and not not being fearful not being afraid to walk away not being afraid to lose you understand what i'm saying not not having a fear of loss rather okay not having a fear of loss not being scared to let go of what you currently have you know a scarcity mindset is kind of like almost a fear of the unknown you know what i mean i don't know if i can do this and so i'm not going to do it i'm going to stay right here that's a scarcity mindset abundance man you ain't you don't have no fears you just know man i deserve better than this period point blank i deserve better that's it <laughs> you're not even worried about what 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 is going to be the i man i deserve better than this right here you know what i'm saying i'd rather have nothing than to be treated like this right here i'd rather not be treated at all leave me alone you know what I'm saying? And so, you know, that's what an abundance mindset is, man. So I'm, I'm going to try to give you a, a contrast. I'm going to try to give you an example, right, of, of just kind of like an abundance, abundance mindset versus a scarcity mindset, guys. And then I'm going to let y'all go, right? So uh, I don't know how many of y'all remember back in the days, man, when your parents went, uh, you know, food shopping, right? Went grocery shopping and the refrigerator was, was full, man. That pantry, you know what I'm saying, was full of food and snacks, man, and all that kind of everything, right? You know? And, and um, you know, it was the first of the month, went around, got all that, you know, and refrigerator full, man, packed, man, snacks, potato chips, whatever, all that stuff, all over the house, man. Every five minutes you was in the kitchen, you was either grabbing some snacks, man, or you was sticking your head in the refrigerator and grabbing something, man, because, man, that food, man, that them, them snacks, whatever it was, was plentiful. You understand what I'm saying? So every five minutes, man, you just running back and forth, man. Running back and forth. You eating up all the cookies, man. All, all the ice cream, just all the little snacks, everything, man. Just going crazy, right? Now about now after two weeks, right? That that refrigerator start uh, looking a little look, looking a little empty, right? It's not as full as it was. So now, man, you're not going in the kitchen so often, right? You just kind of every now and then you just kind of walk around, see what's still left, man. Got a little, you know, a couple of, you know, little cupcakes over here little pies over here whatever like that right and um you know because you, you got to ration you rationing the food out right because you know it's the middle of the, of the month and you know you're not you're not going food shopping again you know what i'm saying mom and dad grandma whatever is not going food shopping again for another two weeks you're only two weeks in the, in, in in the month you got to wait wait around to the first of the month again until you know the, the, the retirement check come grandma retirement check come or you know whatever the situation you know that's how y'all do your shopping once a month right so you know you get you in that scarcity mindset right it's kind of like oh i gotta take it easy right when you get down to that last that last week man you ain't even going and looking in the refrigerator you ain't even going to touching that refrigerator because you scared to touch the food, right? Because you like, man, I ain't going to eat that. That thing got to last me. And you know what? I'm really not hungry right now. Now, see, when you was in an abundance mindset, it didn't even matter. You weren't hungry, but you still knew it was there for the taking. So let me go ahead and grab it, right? It, the food was in abundance, right? You got that abundance mindset. It don't even matter that I'm not hungry. I'm just going to grab it anyway because it's there for me to grab. I'm just going to take it anyway because it's there for me to take. I deserve it. You know what I'm saying? I want something sweet right now. I'm going to get it. But when you're in that scarcity mindset, you know what I'm saying? It's like week three and, um, you know what I'm saying? You know, ain't no food shopping going on for another week. Man, you be hungry. Stomach, stomach touching your back, insides touching each other. And there's food in there, but you ain't going to touch it because you're like, man, hold on. I'm, I'm just, I'm not hungry enough yet because, you know, it's, it's three weeks in. I still got another week. Now, I'm not hungry enough yet. You losing weight. You done lost two or three pounds because you're scared to go in there and touch that food because you know, man, I don't, oh man, listen, you know what I'm saying? I got to wait, I got to wait, you know, we got to wait till the end of the month or whatever, whatever the case may be. Okay, so, you know, I just kind of wanted to throw a, a contrast out there, um, you know, to compare, man, the, the two different mindsets, the abundance mindset versus the uh, scarcity mindset, you know, um, I, I could, I could do that when it comes to, you know, like relationships, you know, you in a relationship and relationship is not working out like i said before and um you know guys you may feel like man you know man this is the best i can do so you know you're gonna sit there and you're gonna take all type of foolishness why because you have a scarcity mindset it's like man i worked hard to get this woman right here and even though i'm not being treated right man i don't know if i can get another woman like her man she look good man i don't know if i i don't even know how i got her but um i was able to get her 
I just don't know if I could do it again. So you know what? I'm gonna sit back and take this abuse, man. Just because, man, I got her, man. She's a she's a six, man. Or she, you know, I don't know. She a seven, man. Oh man, she, man. I'm a, I'm a king right now because I got me a six and a half, or you know, whatever the case may be, guys. But then you have a scarcity mindset. But then you know, if you have an abundant mindset, man, you're gonna be that guy that the first sign of disrespect, second, third sign of disrespect after you ch done checked it the first time, and um, you know, you didn't get positive feedback on that. She turned around and did it again, man. Hey, I got to go. You know what I'm saying? That's the man that has the abundance mindset. And ladies, same thing for y'all. You know what I'm saying? You with a dude, and he may be that, you know, I don't know, whatever type of dude you're looking for, a GQ dude, or, you know, he making money, you know, you know, he's handsome, other women want him, and you got him, and you starting to feel like, man, you know, he he, he be cheating on me, he run around on me, he do all this, that, and the third, right? But you scared, you don't want to leave him, because you're like, man, I ain't going to be able to get another guy like him. Even though he ain't treating me right, he doing me dirty, he ain't doing right by me, but, man, he look good, man. Oh man, he and he made good money. So you know what? I'm gonna I'm stick around for this right here. That's a scarcity mindset. You know what I mean? You don't feel like you can do better for yourself for whatever reason. You don't have the confidence or whatever it is. I'm gonna tell you like this. When it comes to the two mindsets, man, a lot of it has to do with your level of confidence, right? And it has to do with where you are with yourself in life. Are you living the best version of your life? You know what I'm saying? Are you right now the best version of yourself? 99% of the time, I'm going to say that if you're not the best version of yourself, you're going to be in a scarcity mindset. That's just it. You know what I'm saying? Um, again, it has to do with confidence and all that, but I'm not really going to get into all, all, all too much into that, but I just really wanted to um, compare the two different mindsets, man. Um, scarcity mindset versus the abundant mindset. Guys, um, man, listen, you're doing yourself a disservice if you live in a scarcity mindset. Scarcity mindset will keep you at a dead-end job it'll keep you in a dead-end relationship um it'll keep you from starting a business it'll keep you from just living your best life and, that, and that's what we want to do man because you know i don't know about anybody else man and i'm not gonna get into religion and stuff like that but i don't know what's gonna happen next i don't know what the next chapter is you understand what i'm saying so guys get yourself in an abundance mindset you know what i mean get that confidence um level up man you know be the best version of yourself, man, so you can always be in an abundant mindset. And you'll see that doors will start to open up for you guys. Doors that you never thought would open up will open up because you have that level of confidence. And again, like I said, you will have that abundance mindset. So I just wanted to compare the two different mindsets, guys. The scarcity mindset versus the abundant mindset. Hit me up and let me know what y'all think. Y'all be good. I'll catch you on the next one.